This is Twit. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go to a Best Buy at midnight Thursday, Friday, because <laughs> I don't think, I, I just the way, looking at how they're doing the pre-orders on this Z Flip, it looks like they're going to have very few of them. Uh, this, I think, is an interesting phone. The first folding screen, there's two ways you can go with a folding screen. One is to fold it out so it looks, it's iPad size. The other is to have it start at a billfold size and open it up so it's a normal phone. One's That's what a this folding does. tablet, one's a folding phone. Yeah, this is a folded up phone that opens up to a 6.7 inch phone. I think actually that's very compelling, especially since it's using a new feature of Android that lets the top half of the f screen have a different contents than the bottom half, so that yeah. you almost get a mini little laptop kind of. I wonder if they're hard to make, and that's why the availability is a little I sketchy. I suspect at first. that's the issue. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to. I am gonna try to get one of these uh, for the weekend. Uh, I think it. I like. Look, I'm just happy to see somebody do something different. Yeah, exactly. And th there's so much potential in these folding screens across all devices. Uh, just Even just the idea of having a 17-inch a screen laptop that I can simply yeah. fold and ca then carry in, pre in pretty much any bag that I want, even if I have to carry like an, a, another uh, Bluetooth keyboard with me, that is fascinating to me. And a form factor like this new Samsung phone, it's fascinating. We, as, uh, as a market, we really, really want these large screen phones for content, but the phones themselves themselves are getting ridiculously large. And yep. just like you said, Leo, it's kind of frustrating that uh, every, every time that you see uh, a, a device design come out and you don't see anything that evolves from that, it, you make you don't want to you don't want to conclude that oh well the idea of a flat panel of glass with no buttons on it that's phone perfection we have perfected the user interface we have perfected the relationship between humans and mobile technology we don't have to do anything else on that so when you have some uh, a device like this where it's not only a small a small pocketable device that turns into a large phone but having something that stands on the uh, that stands on your on, on your desk or on your table while you're enjoying your coffee I like that. and you and cool. exactly you have a you have a permanent uh, the, the this uh, picture that you're showing right now just it's the idea of you have a permanent like uh, a chat window but the flat part is all the controls that you would want to be hitting with your with your with your fingers anyway that is a wonderful idea so i'm not i'm not going to be first in line to buy anything with a folding screen before let's say 2022 right but i'm glad that there are people who are excited about this to be, shall we say, early believers uh, and buy largely untested, unfield tested devices, uh, because it's going to be a while before we solve all these problems and make them durable. But I'm glad that Samsung is trying this, and they're the as the kings of manufacturing, as the kings of we will build everything and then continue to sell the thing that sells. <laughs> they are the exactly the company that should be doing this. I would caution though, like if I love these, I think these like humans just want to fold everything. It's the history of our technology. We fold wallets, <laughs> we fold books, we fold we fold tacos. We just want to fold things. It makes total sense. We don't. But we don't, these we are don't, super we early. We don't fold fitted sheets though. Well, we try. We try. <laughs> like, these That's are, the sad. So thing. I would. That's like, true. If you really want one of these phones, let like people like Leo, people like Narav Gundy, who buys all, right. let them buy them, use them for a month, make sure that they're really because everyone loved the Motorola, it fell apart. Everyone loved the Galaxy Fold, didn't do it. Just. We're going to get there. Just make sure someone else proves that we're there before you spend your money. This exactly. is also not inexpensive, $1,400. No. The flip? Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, and it's the same. Uh, it's 100 bucks less than the Razer flip. Uh, the Razer, they had a disclaimer, bumps and full. And, and what, it was funny. Well, the screen like, came off the hinge, right, when you yeah, folded it. Yeah, yeah that's normal, they said. Everything, there is a disclaimer with the Z flip. That what what is it what do they say because it's so small I can't read it but something like minor creasing minor creasing yeah, yeah. so right. that makes me nervous they're not doing what the fold and the razor do which is they do have a glass panel over it remember that was the problem with the fold is everybody took the screen the plastic yeah. screen protector First off and one, then it yeah. broke immediately so this time it's a it's a glass probably a flexible glass cover. On top of a, but what Motorola did was they let the cover like they they had a thing inside that bulged out the right. screen when you yep. folded it down to prevent the crease and it looks like Samsung is doing the gap on the out on the like you can see a visible gap again so it doesn't look like they're doing much of that. Yeah, it do, it doesn't look like a chunky uh, billfold either. It looks like what you would expect to be carrying in your pocket as a phone, let's say nine or ten years ago. Yeah, I think yeah. there's a lot of early adopters that will get a lot of mileage no, it, out it, of it showing it exactly. to their friends and being the cool kid at at dinner. 
uh, oh, you know, yeah. or a party. Uh, and so I think it's $1,400 yeah. for some people. That'll be worth it. But otherwise... It's, it's also taking a page from Apple's playbook because it's a fashion device. In fact, they even mm -hmm. said there's a special Tom Brown edition, which will be demonstrated tomorrow at New York Fashion Week. Right. So, yeah. and they had a lot of, it felt, felt like the people showing the S20 were normal people, and then the people showing the Z Flip were all models. Right. <laughs> you know, that, yeah, that's, so that's really the, the, the market. Go through an early adopter. I was you know, joking. There might be a million people out there that'll buy it. I was joking that in five years there'll be a Moto Bezel BZL that will just yeah. like it'll be like a retro phone We've with a forehead and a chin like your the like thing you have. love the most the bezel it's it'll here. be like the hipster bell bottom phone <laughs> uh, and you know of course uh, Microsoft at the end of the year is going to do a dual screen book like a couple of book like devices the Duo and the Flex one Android one Windows that'll be an interesting uh, product yeah. clearly so, there's a there, the, everybody seems to think that there's a market for this. And they're separate screens, not like... Those are separate, so there's right, no exactly. crease but or anything. But, but with a, a, a high level of interactability between... Uh, it's not just let's build two phones and put a hinge between them. Uh, there's a relationship between those two screens that is lets you move things from one screen to another to spread thing, things between two screens. They just released a, a developer kit, including a, uh, a uh, emulation layer that uh, kind of really shows off what you could... All the different modes that they have dictated and described for this... And and it's it's an interesting time. This is this has always been something that just feels like it should work, and we just need somebody to try to make it. And I think that it's just not not the, just the screen technology, but I'm just so glad that companies like Microsoft and uh, and Google are saying we know that the technology is not here yet, but we are going to at least create a spec so that if a developer wants to create double screen uh mobile double screen experiences here is everything that it's all being supported here's everything you can do with it uh so you have to do it's it's an opportunity when you don't have one company making all the hardware uh, i know it's something that apple can't it's there's no point in apple doing it because they would be able to they wouldn't be able to make the hardware as well but this is why it's kind of this is why when apple finally real discovers that thank you motorola thank you samsung thank you microsoft for the five years of really terrible hardware for just the people who are super excited about this until the manufacturing <laughs> figures out how to make these things the engineering on how to make these things durable and the software to make to to figure out how an interface should work. Now we're going to jump in and we're going to we're going to basically clean up the market because we're going to have the first one that really really works out of the box. They don't mention There's also a big battery sorry. life on it and I have a feeling with <laughs> It'll be two cells, it's, it's right? Not, one on the top, one on the yeah, bottom. It's not like, going to be it, very, it must be so good they didn't want to brag about yeah. it. That's the only reason. The other why. thing though that that's important to remember with these marketing things though is that Samsung essentially has nation state level funding. They have an unlimited supply yeah, of money right. and they make money making everything from toilets to oil rigs to everything. Right. And the the amount of money they make from phones is really insignificant. Like it's not like they can lose money on every phone, but they could lose money on every phone mm -hmm. where Apple has so much invested in the iPhone, right. they they just can't experiment. like they financially cannot experiment to the extent that conglomerate. So you can. wouldn't expect a folding phone from Apple anytime soon. I expect yeah. they have a ton of prototypes. I don't think they'll launch it until yeah. all these these early gen problems are solved. Right, if ever. All right, let's they had see. A I heard they were doing it with the iPhone four. They they already had a folding prototype really? for the iPhone four, but oh. yeah, they thought it wasn't workable. Yeah. Go ahead, Laura. Yes, if this was running iOS, I would I would buy one right now. Yeah, but, it's cute, isn't it? It looks good. It yeah. looks fun. Yeah. It definitely is like I I could imagine this this version of a folding phone the the type that folds down into a square, that's the the design of the future. I could see that happening. Yeah. I think you know it harkens back to our love of the flip phone of so long ago, but also has like new technology involved in it. So it's it's the best of both worlds and i think young people are going to be really excited about it i it's, i see that design going somewhere for sure by the way no samsung device now has a headphone jack that's it it's <laughs> over they it have, changes so fast huh? we all have courage yep. now baby <laughs> well the, the, head, the headphone jack is like the camera bump you have to have that first phone that has it and see if the entire world rebels against it right. and if the entire world doesn't rebels against it suddenly your engineering department says that you know how we've been compromising our cameras because we absolutely was absolutely anathema to have a camera bump guess what <laughs> bars open boys bars open girls we're going to be able to bump, bump out things and start creating 48 megapixel cameras with flashes built well, in and another bar cross line crossed none of the samsung phones they showed today are less than a thousand bucks now yeah. samsung has other less many other less expensive so many. models but yeah. uh so they don't have to worry 
Apple has less expensive models too. And the it light ones too, right? Those just came out. It feels yeah, the Note Light and the F- it, it feels tennis. like Apple might have decided they they maybe went too far on the price point and they've kind of dialed it down a little bit, but not Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be interesting to see. I, I I think that Apple could go both directions where they make less expensive phones and more expensive phones than what they have right now. Yeah, but but also the US is five G only, and that's a tax on top of every phone that you buy, even if you don't have five G in your oh, area. That's just nuts because yeah. most areas don't, and even the areas that do, uh, the the five G is unimpressive. Right. Yeah, you know, it doesn't make that it's much not, of a difference. It's not going to be a thing for another two or three years, if then. I think it's it's I think it's going to be a marketing thing until proved otherwise. Like I said, eight K five G. It well, follows they had the guy in the line so of 3D. Bored. I guess anything with a number and a letter you should have shoot. Oh, because in, in, independent testing agencies have <laughs> t- have proven that eight is a larger number than five. <laughs> they were trying to that. make the case for it, and they couldn't. Like, the guy looked so bored, but he was basically talking oh. about 5G as if no one had ever had an internet connection oh. before. Yeah. Like, yeah. they'll be able to upload a video. Like, nobody Whoa. could ever upload a video. But, and they, they don't have compelling – it's the same as the Verizon Super Bowl ads. They don't have any idea what the use cases are going to be yet. Right.